Hey guys, my name is James, also known as Ro Raven. I, I can't I can't speak. I've given up already. Guys, welcome to today's video. I hope everyone is having a great day so far. If you guys are, make sure you guys go down and smash the like button. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe with post notifications on. Now we've got all the plug stuff out of the way. We're going to get right into this episode, ladies and gentlemen, where basically, as you guys can tell by the title, we're going to be trying a little bit of a challenge, which is usually a bad idea. I think the last time I tried one of these, Ryan blew up my base. Like he, he fitted like I showed him where it was he he came and blew it up so I'm scared he might do that again but we're basically gonna see how much value we can accumulate over one week by ourselves this is not gonna be just with the faction this is gonna be things that I might do with twin or I might do by myself just things like that generally to just see how much I can actually make on my own and if I can actually contribute it's basically just gonna test how long people don't search for my sky base so if you're seeing this video please leave me alone I, I would not appreciate that whatsoever but before we go any further we need to focus on ranking up as you guys can see i'm at the end of level five i need 10 horde kills okay 10 is a lot of horde kills mainly because of other factions like addicted pretty much who like they run the pvp area those guys are not very nice but funny enough there is actually a horde in in four minutes so what i'm gonna do is take off this and just have my general p4 set and we'll put this we'll get rid of this gunpowder but everything's a mess in my pv and ehs we'll grab this nice little sharp five and we will grab some pearls some gunpowder uh get rid of the pickaxe for this nice little fishing rod there we go and we need to go grab some pots quickly and we need to get ourselves to the good spot i'll quickly show you guys actually where i think probably the best spot is for grinding or for actually getting horde kills because ryan showed this off i think a few days ago where he actually got like five out of this which if you guys do it right is it nuts that you managed to get five horde kills out of it but honestly if any like enemy factions come up i'm just gonna like stop drop and roll and just die i think i think it's pretty dumb me ringing p4 but you know no one ever lived you know doing nothing so we're gonna have fun with it at least but we need to get there incognito right so we, we, i needed to buy an invis i'm gonna be completely honest but I, I forgot to do that i don't even have a helmet on i am so unprepared we'll put this p3 helmet on there we go looking lovely looking lovely so let's grab ourselves just one pot of invis that should be enough mainly because we're gonna die but that's not the point so we'll drink up our invis and we will head to slash spawn there we go like i said addicted to everywhere right we don't want to be killed by these guys mainly because they're very scary so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna drop down quick and pearl myself over and that guy please don't drop to war zone he dropped to war zone we might now be in trouble pearl this way there we go now the best spot actually is over here you guys wouldn't think it because most of the people go just straight to the volcano but i'm just making sure it's clear okay so this rock over here usually spawns a few and then in front and behind this a few more usually do spawn what we might do is actually just go full invis for when the horde goes so like i'm gonna take off my armor and i'm gonna go back to my base mainly because i don't want to be like seen here and it means i can get to the spot a lot quicker because we only have two minutes left right so let's drop out a little bit of pots and what we will do is is we'll do that there we go so now we have a row of pots so we can kill the mo horde mobs and we can just chuck on the armor and run it worst case scenario right that's that's probably going to be what happened if you guys haven't seen this look how pretty this base is i haven't shown this off properly this is our new base this is the base we live in in blur um we got some snowmen over here which simon was grinding out previously but now he's not these things i'm gonna do a separate video on this these things are nuts but we're not gonna do it yet we need we need to you know get ready for this horde we're gonna hope that it's something that isn't just 25 mobs because we'll be in we'll be in trouble only because we won't get any so we're hoping at least to get a few just to give us some progress but you know, worst case scenario we only get one or two i guess guess that's still some progress i'm trying to film my videos with a lot more content now rather than just having it like you, you i do a raid and then that's the end of the video i'm trying to like switch it up make it different i hope you guys are enjoying it if like if you are yeah you know, like i said you know just just slap a like on it i won't i won't complain on the 19 minute mark once again just waiting just waiting to see what's gonna go on it's still 19 minutes all right, we're at 20 minutes right now, so it shouldn't be much longer. I'm going to do slash back already just to see if anybody is there. Because usually people are, which means we're usually dead. Oh, uh, okay. I think we're good for now. This means we might have a lot of the mobs to ourselves. Which means we might be able to stick on armor, but I don't really trust it. So we're going to go this way. We're going to kill these ones here. We're going to go this way and then back here. Or we'll go back here first. Oh, it's a scavenger. Oh, we can actually get a few from this. There we go. Oh my god, they hit really hard. That hurt. I died in the hall. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? I, uh, <laughs> I didn't even, 
I didn't even die by a player. I didn't die by a player. Are you kidding me? I'm that stupid. I must be literally the most awful person ever to be able to die by a horde. I, I honestly give up now. We got, oh, congratulations. We got, uh, we got one, I think. Yeah, there you go. One out of 10 mobs. We nailed it. But guys, before we go into the main, main clip for this video, I actually managed to buy one of these off AH earlier for a very like reduced price. So we're going to try unlock this right now. I only have a 30% lock pick, which usually, usually means we don't have that good of a chance. What we're going to do is we're literally just going to go for it and we're going to see what happens. So if we don't manage to get ourselves any, like if we don't manage to unlock the full thing, then, you know, rest in peace. But if we do, then I'm going to be very, very happy with myself and this will be a good investment. So here we go. Three, two, one. All right, so the server reset and it didn't work. So that that's a that's a rip on that part. I honestly, looking back, thought that 30% lockpick might work, but now I've wasted all my money. I have no money left. So any raids that I now want to do uh, are now not going to be able to happen because we're going to have to wait for the faction to be able to supply us to TNT. And th and there's there's also a horde going on which I didn't see. Thank thank you very very much server for doing this to me. But guys, we're here now. We're going to probably just get right into the main bit of the video. We're basically just going to do. I think I have G Shop. All right, I have G Shop, which definitely helps. So we are going to go over here and we'll grab a stack of each chest. I feel like that should be enough. We don't want to make it too too big, but we're obviously going to make it so it's big enough. So what I'm going to do is actually go to spawn and do slash wild and i am gonna blow the coordinates because you guys are not gonna find anything all right so we're gonna drop a slash wild and we are going to all right so the coordinates will be blurred but obviously you guys can see generally the surroundings so you know we'll see we'll see how long this lasts so f claim s1 make sure i blur that post edit raven and we will grab ourselves where's where's the block guy we just want cobble oh there we go we'll grab a load of cobble and, and i didn't i didn't even put fly on make sure obviously raven post editing you I know you're editing this audio, so you're gonna have to, you know, actually listen to myself for once and actually edit it out. Okay, I, I kind of wish the PC didn't crash the moment McNuggets were really good. But pretty much the PC crashed the moment I actually got up here and did what I needed to do, so the rest of that footage is now gone. But it's alright, we didn't do anything important. What we basically did is we basically just lined out the chest, but I'm now realizing we probably need a few more just to be able to get, like, all of our loot. Because I'm not expecting a lot of loot, right? I know for a fact that I'm not gonna get, like, a lot, a lot of value, but I'm expecting a at least some stuff so we will do this right here there we go I, i'm trying not to shut off the ground too much but i think i already have and what we'll do is we'll just stick some custom enchants in here and just the rest of our stuff anything good in these nope so we can keep these in here for value because we have to think about it is if every little bit helps the faction because if we go to the base right now and you guys will see by f top you know we're struggling we're struggling to uh struggling to stay on the list so what we need to do is we need to get some value for the faction this is how we're going to justify it but we're basically just going to justify us living in a sky vault by us trying to help the faction which i guess is a good thing because we could you know hopefully help out the faction yeah, i'm saying hopefully because i can guarantee it's probably going to be found in like two days but we're going to grind out some of these lovely little snowmen if i can get in the, the thing with them and honestly this is probably the scariest thing ever i said this in a previous video but these spawners are absolutely insane i don't even know the general prices for the snowman spawners i think it's like 500k 400k just for one because of how op they are and the fact that they give you uh, like heads and souls at the same time and the heads are worth so much money Honestly, the fact that they're worth so much really is like a really good change because these spawners, like I said in, I think it was a previous video, the fact that these are going to be gone once festive charms are gone is going to be absolutely nuts. If there's anything fancy on OH we can buy, let's see if there's any snowman spawners actually up here. Then we can make a general like price range maybe. Just see if there's anything on here. Mushroom, cow, cow, not looking that good. Oh, shockwave too. We need that for our god set, but I really need a set for that to happen. I think definitely we need to start investing in maybe like even like P5 sets, P4 sets like good p4 sets pretty much just so we're able to like start oh ethereal 3 is that how much ethereal 3 goes for All right what we're gonna have to do is quit literally just grind out some salts because the quicker we grind out the salts the quicker we can try get the good enchant we need the ethereal 3 that's what we need if that sells for 200k i thought it was like 10 15k at max oh my god those grinding skeletons are so loud i didn't expect them to be that loud but we'll go with it anyway honestly i feel like once we get like just even like a chance to open just a few more books and if we can see there's any on a h and we can try it that way honestly i'm just hoping we get ethereal 3 because haste 3 would be really really 
really good for like grinding up mobs because like I said before, I think it does increase it. Those skeletons are so loud. They're literally so loud. So it's, I can't hear anything. I'm literally deaf, everyone. Just keep going. Keep on grinding. We're going to be here for probably a while. See how many souls I actually do have. So we have ourselves 2,000. We'll go to about 3k souls. That'll get us, I think, four uh, basic enchant books. So we do have a chance to get ethereal. And if not, what we'll do is we'll head flip and try and get the money through head flipping. Because I saw a guy in chat a second ago saying that he's head flipping 200k. We can use his 200k to buy ethereal if we do win. But if not, we're going to have to go back to grinding snowmen. That's, that's pretty much the basis of everything. <laughs> right, that should be enough souls. 2,700. Right, we're not there yet. Just a few more heads. Honestly, that skeleton grinding noise is so boring to listen to. I think that's why I'm glad snowmen don't actually make a sound when you kill them. But we're getting to the end of this right now. Souls, 3,000. That would be enough. We're not going to bother anymore. We're just going to sell these for 48k. Uh, that brings us up to 450k. So let's go to... Let's, let's actually, let's go to shop first before we head flip because we don't want to have to waste our time or our money pretty much. So we will go to the lovely soul merchant over here. Hello, my my friend. Buy yourself four books. We'll open one. Unsteady arrow. Two. Leech. Oh, Jesus. It's not got an ethereal one. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Right. We're going to have to resort to what we know and we're going to have to gamble and try to win our money that way. And if it doesn't work, we're going to probably be quite upset. But that's, you know, that's never the point. We'll do we'll message. I think it was ESM. Head flip. 200k if we if we lose then you know the video is probably going to end because this is really embarrassing but if we win you know we can we can buy ourselves ethereal three that's the end goal right here all we need is ethereal three is this guy here i don't know if he's here i might just say in chat head flipping 200k at, it doesn't need to be at spawn we'll just say head flipping 200k and hopefully can be able to then buy ethereal three. Oh, esm said one second so i'll do it with esm because I feel like this guy was the one guy I wanted to do it with. So we'll do it with this man right here and we'll see. Come on, buddy. Are you scared? Look at you. He looks terrified. Honestly, if you look into those eyes, he looked absolutely terrified. All right, he's done it. Right, 200k in the bank. Oh my God, please. I am begging you. If my luck was ever to come in on video, now is the good chance. I don't care if I get nothing from Crate Keys. Just please give me this opportunity to buy Ethereal. I won. There we go. 200k in the bank. That was very, very easy. It's like it took no effort at all. Totally wasn't in my pants. But with this now, we can go onto AH and look at Ethereal. Did I spell that right? I did. Okay, so there's four on there. One for 100k with bad chances, 135k, and then 200k with this good chance. So you might buy the 200k one. I'm sorry if it's really, really overpriced. All right, so I feel like we should just go for it. And if it works, it works. It broke. Are you kidding me? I spent 200k of that man's money to see if this enchant would work, but I'm, I'm guessing our luck was not with us today. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this video there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone did enjoy it. Please like and subscribe with post notifications on if you feel like it. I guess thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in, in two days.